Hello YouTube, today at powerjackrepair.org we got an Asus G533Z It requires a 20 volt 14 amp adapter and it's my understanding that this laptop cost about three four thousand dollars I mean I'm not sure who exactly pays for a laptop three four thousand bucks but anyways so the reason it's here it's here for the power jack repair replacement uh, basically we replace the connectors here and the number one comment I get on this uh, on my channel I got thousand plus videos of different laptop makes and models that's been fixed here and uh, I and employees who used to work here fixed a lot more than 1000 plus um, it's only thousand plus videos that we made um, the number one comment I get is who are you and nobody to critique a design of people who build those kind of machines that we sell to so many people. I mean, this is what was the brand here. Yes, Asus, Asus Republic of Games, ROG, R-O Gamers or Games, um, depends who you ask. Let's see, Strix maybe, is it Strix? Yeah, ROG Strix. All right, so Rod, Rock Strix, and the more exact model is G33ZW-AS-94. So again, I'm a nobody, I know nothing about laptops, I just fix them. But in my opinion, after fixing tens of thousands, maybe a hundred thousand laptops, um, I can see right away um, why this laptop only gonna last you about I mean, what year was it made? That's the question. Um, hard to say what year it was made. Ah, 2022. Uh, so it's only lasted a year. I mean, and it doesn't matter how, how you use it. I mean, you could just leave it on the table. It's going to last you a year. And I'm not saying the last year on purpose. I'm not saying that. I'm saying everybody should go out and buy an Asus G533Z so that I would be getting more work because that's a bread and butter uh, of these operations, la expensive laptops that uh, basically the design is so good that in a year it's going to end up here. And the reason it's so good because you can read right here on the bottom, it says input is 20 volts. 14 amps. I copied it right here. 20 volts, 14 amps. For those who don't know how many 20 volts, 14 amps there are, it's about 280, I think. 20 multiplied by 14, that's 280. 280 watts. So 280 watts. That's a, a lot of wattage going into the laptop. Because I assume it's three, four thousand dollar laptop. It's a lot of watts going to it. And the problem is, once you go over, once you go over 90 watts, the problem of going over 90 watts, none of those connectors are made to handle anything more than 90 watts. None of those. If you read specifications for any of those connectors, if you read them, nobody reads them. When you manufacture a laptop, you don't read how many watts can go through one of those connectors. Um, you, th there are no connectors out there that can handle two, 280 watts. I mean, yeah, if you drive a Tesla, it's going to handle 280 watts because you just plug it in and it, it's supposed to, the, the cables are like so thick and it can handle it. The plug is thick, the, the connector is thick, but this is a laptop. It's not supposed to handle 280 watts. So the problem is two things. One is the connector is not able to handle 280 watts. Now, if, if Asus designed it and made it into the laptop and sold it to thousands of people, I am I'm not going to say a word that it's not designed to handle it. I mean, there are designers, there are people who design those laptops. And I'm thankful that they designed it so that, uh, so, that, so that the clients of those laptops would be my clients. I mean, the people who buy these laptops would be my clients and they would be my clients every year because it's... 2022 is manufacturing date, right now it's 2023, 
So every year I will be replacing this connector on this laptop. Thank you, Asus, and thank you all the other brands who don't read. And none of my clients read, that's the reason I make videos, because I had a website for 20 plus years where I would just explain all this stuff, but nobody reads. So anyways, that's one thing. This thing is not able to handle 280 watts for sure, this connector there. Uh, the reason it can handle it because when you, when it's not like soldered connection, if it's just a plug, the way how that plug designed, there is just just not enough connection, not enough metal on metal contact to handle 280 watts. And when there is not enough metal uh, metal on metal uh, contact, when you plug the plug into the jack, it, it's kind of like contacting like that, for example, or like that, or like that. This area hits up a lot, produces a spark. The inside of the plug gets oxidated, so the plug that you put into the jack, if you look inside of the plug, it always, almost always gets oxidated. Once that starts to oxidate, people start to twist it and turn it to, my, to make a sweet spot. To make a, like if you jump start a battery from one car to another car, sometimes you know you have to like wiggle those cables to jump start it on, on, on your battery because there is oxidation everywhere, either on the cables or on the battery itself. So here people start to wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it, and eventually they break the connector here, all right? But it's all because of that spark. It basically either the connector inside breaks or the plug gets oxidated because it's 280 watts. So you'll need probably a new power supply every year and you will need a new power connector every year. So this is the business, those are the rates right now, depends on inflation, this is going to probably go up in the next year because it's been raised since last year and the year before that because I can't get any employees to work for me. People don't read, so they always call me. All right, so on the website it says, guys, please text us or email us, don't call us, but people can't read that either. It's too, too hard. Anyways, so let's take this guy apart show you how to replace it, uh, replace the connector here, how I replace it, or how you can replace it. You can send me just the motherboard if you want. And that's the reason I make those videos, because 50% uh, of all work are the motherboards, uh, because uh, most of our clients are computer shops, or um, one of the manufacturers sent me an email saying they got 3,000 laptops for the warranty and nobody in the United States to handle them. Can I handle them? And I'm like, I don't have any employees, I, I, I mean, I can't find any employees when Amazon Warehouse pays $28 an hour next door. I mean, where, I mean, yeah, I can fix them, but it's going to take me years. Anyways, let's begin. Can you imagine 3,000 of those sitting on the, <laughs> sitting at the, and, and this company, they don't have uh, a, how they say it, a factory here that's going to fix it for the warranty. So maybe they do, but <laughs> yeah, anyways, here. All right, so you all screw all the screws. Seems like the battery is dying on this uh, screwdriver. I've been using this screwdriver for like 20 years, so that's the reason I didn't upgrade to any other newer drives, drivers. Maybe I will look into them in the future, but uh... yeah, I think I need to get a new screwdriver because uh, this one covers a lot of space and you can see this screw usually does not come off. I think uh, this is kind of 
for some reason it's it's made to not come out not only on this particular model on most of the rocks i think all right so all right um, get the So obviously if this doesn't come out, you want to start with this end right here. So just a guitar pick. Guide it like that. And it's a plastic guitar pick, so nothing gonna get scratched on the on the laptop itself. Hmm. This thing is really, really, really well connected. Hard to, hard to open it up. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, that's one tough piece. All right, here. All right. Now, I think there should be two wires uh, for the LED screens here, uh, for the LED lights. So when you take the casing off, take it really careful, really slowly. Don't try to don't try to yeah, don't try to pull on it. Yeah, there are two wires. All right. So to get those two wires out, you move this guy like that. All right. Then what you do is you just connect the battery right here. You need to slide this battery connector that way. I replace those battery connectors all the time because when people take the laptops apart, they don't move this guy forward. So this metal piece should be coming up forward like that. And then you lift up this guy. All right. Once you lifted this guy, you can disconnect this cable here. And you can disconnect this cable right here. All right. Pull this guy out, pull this guy out, set everything aside. You need to remove the battery because uh, those cables need to be having a lot more space. So battery gets removed. Uh, the screwdriver is dying. So what I need to do, I need to replace the bit. All right. Alrighty. Let's put this guy on the charger. They usually last for weeks. I'll have to charge them, but this one just decided to die on me. Putting the video. Alright. So you were talking about the battery. Alright. So this thing comes off, put that aside, we got, uh, we need to remove uh, this memory chip, like that, like that, all right, memory chip removed, and you want to flip this guy over this way, so you want to disconnect that, you want to Disconnect this guy. Some dust in here. Right. Get rid of the dust. So much dust. Wow. Let's clean this guy up. So another great design. Again, I'm not telling anybody that this laptop gonna die in a year or so. No, nothing like that, guys. It's gonna last you a lifetime. Buy it. Buy it. But here is a great design. I mean, you know that when you come to a doctor, he's not going to prescribe to you anything that's going to make you healthy. He's going to prescribe to you something that's, uh, that will make you coming back to the doctor more and more, right? So think of this as you came to the doctor and I'm telling you, listen, you need to buy this laptop because look, 
This fan is designed in a way to collect as much dust as possible. Once the dust gets stuck in those blades, the air is not moving in there, so the CPU GPU gonna overheat and die. And if you running into trouble of playing games and the laptop just dies on you, it's because uh, those fans are full of dust and they cannot uh, they cannot uh, cool the uh, the uh, those guys the uh, this is probably a GPU and this is probably a CPU. So let's design let's design all of the laptops with those kind of fans with the small tiny tiny how they said blades. Again, there are a thousand plus videos on this channel, guys. I've seen every every single laptop making model out there. I mean, there is not a laptop making model that I haven't seen in the last in my lifetime. I've been doing this thing for twenty plus years. So here, let's. So if your laptop shutting down for no reason, all of a sudden when you're playing games, you need to remove every one of those fans. You need to clean them. And then you're gonna be fine. So when it comes to these guys, you don't want to be disconnecting much here. You want to just disconnect it on this end, and you want to disconnect it from this uh, side, from the side of the uh, cable. That way, you're not gonna break the connection itself. But if you break one of those, it's no big deal. The second one is uh, gonna be a backup. All right. So here, you wanna move this guy up, up. No. We can't move this guy up because we got a cable in the way, right? Or it just doesn't want to come out for some reason here. Hmm. Well, I guess just leave it in there, just unscrew the screw, all right? This is the reason you want to take the battery off because here we got the, uh, the cables here. All right, you want to pull them back. You want to pull this guy here and this guy there. Get this whole stuff out of here. All right, disconnect this. All righty. Alrighty. I wonder if I need to remove these guys in order to. It just I'm I'm pretty sure that they use uh, a toxic uh, chemical compound here between the GPU and CPU, and uh, I don't like to inhale this guy, so I prefer not to. I mean, for this model, I'm pretty sure. I mean, if you if if you sell a laptop for four thousand dollars, you're probably gonna use the mocks. Like you're gonna go above and beyond to suffocate the people who are gonna be fixing it in the future. All right, so here you wanna be careful removing this guy. And let's see if this screw is through. This seems like a through, 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 through screw. All right. This is we got the the keyboard cable here. If it's not too much, leave a like if, if the video is so far useful to you. I'm disconnect this guy here, and disconnect that guy here. This guy over this way. Disconnect this guy. Disconnect that guy. And disconnect this guy here. All right. All right, good job. I'm gonna pull this guy this way, and you want to remove this shielding for the cable. So you want to take this guy all the way out of there. Careful about it. And we got another hidden screw here. All right. So what we want to do is we want to disconnect this guy. All right. And. And all right, we want to 
have another screw right there. We probably want to disconnect. We probably want to disconnect the this fan. Uh, those cables have little tabs on the sides, and a small tiny screwdriver usually takes them out just fine. Sometimes hold on to this guy, but I know how much pressure I need to use on those. If I break them off, I can usually solder them, but that's haven't been happening in like 20 years or so. But anyways, so here, like that. All right, so we still got this cable right here. Okay, so this cable comes out like that. It's in this little tiny channel. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, and we are able to take it off. Like that, let's set this guy aside. Set this guy all the way here. Yeah, I mean, this connector is well soldered into the motherboard. It's going to be a pain to desolder it when you got the, the fans. Oh, by the way, take a look. You see, the air is not moving through this stuff. It's not moving at all. So that's on this end. I'm going to clean all that stuff uh, later on. And you see right here, the, 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 the design itself is amazing for, for me to prosper. And by the way, this business is for sale because I can't find any employees for many years. Because once 2019 hit and everybody got free money, I lost all of my employees. It was three locations. Um, so if you're going to be buying this business, you probably need to be in a location away from Amazon warehouses that pay 28 bucks an hour. And you probably want to have family members working for you because, uh, again, uh, nowadays the uh, the uh, it's hard to find employees. Maybe it's going to get better in the future, but for right now, when people say about the recession is coming, recession is coming, uh, I don't know. We will see. We will see. Everybody makes so much money nowadays that um, nobody wants to work. All right, so this guy we have to clean very well because uh, we've, we've, when when the dust is like that, it's the, the air does not stick to the to the f blades and it's not circulating. So this guy just spinning and does nothing. It just spins. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, so we have to clean the heatsink as well because uh, air is not moving through. But overall, I would tell you that thank you Asus for making laptops like that. I really appreciate it. It wouldn't be for Asus and a few other brands that are on this channel. Uh, this business would not exist. So, yeah. All right. I think I need to take this guy off because this requires a lot of heat. Heat gonna get dissipated by the heat sinks, and this thing not gonna come out while those heat sinks are on. I know that the toxic. Probably going to be right here underneath this guy, not underneath here. We will see. By the way, what you want to do is you want to remove this guy from here by pulling it this way. So don't wiggle it up, down, just pull it that way. All right, so here. Good job. But honestly, I never seen a laptop that uses 280 watts. 280. Oh yeah, you see, this this is the t stuff I was talking about right here. This guy. Probably, probably Mercury of some sort. So, um, there are a whole bunch of tiny little connectors around the area here on the top side. Some of them might fly off the motherboard, so you need to insulate everything really carefully. There is a huge chip right here that might just, you know, come up 
and this chip right there. But most most concern is that uh, tri-level chip on this side. Sorry, this side. Um, yeah, but the heatsink is also this thing will require much less uh, voltage and amperage going through it. And hopefully after replacing this guy, everything gonna work fine. Uh, if after replacing this guy you get the laptop back and you still get some time and not a solid connection, you need to replace your power supply because the inside of the plug. This is not from this system, but what I'm saying is the inside barrel of the plug gets oxidated. And once it gets oxidated, you pretty much done. I mean, you could use some dioxide. Dioxide, I think it's called. Uh, but uh, in these conditions here, I can't keep uh, the plug in dioxide for a week because I have to give the laptop to the client in an hour or so. So uh, again, easier just to replace. I, I'm not sure how much the new power supply costs, but uh, I'm sure it's not cheap for 280 watts uh, OEM power supply. So the goal is to replace this guy again. I got thousand plus videos how to replace those connectors on different laptops, laptop makes and models. This one is no different. Uh, so if something you're gonna miss something in this video, you can always uh, you can always take a look at any other videos for Asus Rock. I have like maybe a dozen of those for sure. And if something is not uh, maybe I gonna pause something here and that and then not start the recording not record again and, and you're going to miss a point or something you can always refer to other videos before you're going to proceed removing this connector it's all straightforward there is nothing special about it um the the hardest part is to insulate everything around here so nothing would fall off the motherboard if something would fall off the motherboard then you spend the whole day trying to get everything back in place under the microscope so that's the and here we have another problem you see that those burn marks right here. I assume this is the I assume this is the video chip, and I assume this is the CPU, and probably because of those burn marks, because we use toxic, uh, toxic. Um, you see right there. This is a burn mark, and a burn mark right here, because we're not using a regular paste like here. We use a four thousand dollar. We try to, you see, it's dry. It's dry and it's burning, all right? So I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe this one is more liquid, but I see more and more of this space being used. And I see more and more this space not being where it's supposed to be. It's not right here. You see, we got a blob right here, but we don't have anything here because it's all burned. And the reason it's burned because we restrict the airflow. It's like, you know, we recommend everybody to wear something on, on your nose. So that you would suffocate and die, not so that you would live. And here is we got exactly the same thing. Uh, we just suffocate everybody little by little uh, by preventing the airflow to whatever needs to be cooled. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I mean, let's uh, let's insulate. So you can insulate it several ways. We got the 3M tape, which I usually use, but I'm not gonna use it on this board because those tiny components, they might be lifted by the sticky part right here. We can use the captain tape, but I'm not gonna use captain tape either because that thing gonna require a lot of heat. And when you require a lot of heat, we need to use this guy, but I'm not gonna use this guy because it's gonna come up. So what I'm gonna be using is just a regular foil so that, uh, so that the air, the hot air won't be covering. By the way, I need to clean this guy up because uh, this Crap gonna be all over the place. All right, unfortunately, I can't remove all of the paste from from here. So what we're gonna do is um, it it flows, and it seems like it flows away from where it needed to be. So I'm gonna put this guy right here, like that, and I will put some tape because my work area always gets. Uh, dirty from all of those pastes and here let me close that here like that and here all right so like that good job um now let's insulate the area here 
Let's do something like that. All right. Let's insulate this guy here. And let's insulate here. All right. Good job. I can insulate right there. Okay, good job here. We still need more. Like that. Okay. Few little components here, but they kind of far away, so no big deal. Here we're gonna just make sure it covers that black piece right here underneath, a bit behind the connector. That's gonna come off for sure. So we need to cover it really well. Then what we wanna do is we wanna cover something like that. All right. Excellent, good job. Let's cover it like that. So yeah, really good laptop. Uh, three, four thousand dollars. If you want to fix it every year, send it this way. I will be fixing it for you for as long as you want me to. All right, the best investment ever, guys. The best gaming investment. All right, good job. A little bit of insulation here would also help. I'm just gonna put this uh, EP tape here because because um, the components here are not that uh, easily coming off the board as this black component here. Yeah. All right. Um, let's let me show you how we're gonna remove. It. To remove it, all we have to do is. Uh, add the uh, flux here then add some leaded base solder lead is toxic so so try not to inhale it um and then what we're gonna do is uh, add leaded base solder here lead uh, add leaded base side on 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 this side did add a lead lead based solder right here lead base solder on the other side and you see the whole table becomes in in this in this insulation, uh, in this uh, thermal silicon stuff. So, yeah, um, we have to move this guy here so that we will be able to add some solder here. Once the old solder mixes with the new solder, it's gonna pop right out. Okay. Let me show you. All right, so this whole construction is inside of the chamber that sucks all the fumes out. I only have one exhaust fan running to prevent any vibration for the camera. But I would highly suggest everyone to have several exhaust fans to run at the same time when you're working on... Oh, where is the flux at? All right. All right, so here we add flux here, flux right there, flux right here. Flux is also toxic, so if you inhale it, or try not to touch it. That's the reason why you use gloves. Uh, is this camera on autofocus? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some hot air to the equation. All right.
what I'm trying to do, I'm trying the solder to for the solder to penetrate into the to penetrate into the hole. Once the penetration happens. much much easier to get this guy off of the board so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the whole thing over and add some solder on the top side All right. Good job. All right, so we got solder on both sides. What we're going to do now, we're going to add a little bit more air using that air we're gonna be able to pop this thing right out eventually so we are working on this right now let's see all right good job Yeah, excellent. All right, let's get a bit more this way. All righty. All righty, good job. So now we're going to reduce the temperature on the hot air station. And what we're going to do is we're going to suck all the solder from the yeah, easier said than done because I'm out of, I'm out of, on this floor, I'm out of uh, soldering braid, the soldering braid. So let's see if I can do anything with this piece here. All right. All right, so you want to make sure all of the holes are nice and empty. Thing is, the closer you get to the hot air. Do I have another piece of braid anywhere? Nope, I have to go downstairs to get the, the other stuff. All right, I found another braid here. I didn't have to go far. Let's see if you can use this braid to get. This is much thicker braid. I hardly ever use it. Let's see if this is going to work. It does work. 
это все. Alright. All right. Oh, the focus is lost. Wow. All right. So we have a slight problem. Uh, I only have two of those left. So this is the original one. This is the new one. And I will have to order those soon. And I hope they're still for sale. So here, let's see if it's going to fit. Nope, it's going to fit. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some flux here on the top side. And we're going to use... That's a brand new jack, all right? That's the old jack. You can see it has some melting points right here. So we're going to... Are you going to keep jumping on me like that? I'm talking to the camera right now. All right, so we're going to put it like that. Seems like it's all the way in. So what we're gonna do next is solder, solder a little bit here. All right, solder a little bit right there. All right, the flux lets the solder penetrate through to the motherboard. All right, so if you are a wealthy person who can afford fixing one of those every year, send me a text, what's the model, so that I would be able to order those in advance by the time it arrives here, the, the connectors, I mean. So don't expect I'm gonna have this particular connector in stock when your laptop arrives, because I only have one more left. So text me, call me something to let me know, all right? So here we get, here we got like that, like that, like that. Alrighty. Okay, looks good, looks really good. Now, the secret here, you need to solder on both sides, because um, the top side here is where the positive traces are at, so if you just solder from the bottom, it's not really enough. And uh, the way how you solder on the top, the sides are pretty easy, you just add solder here on the sides. It would help if you have a 4K TV, so you can see. All right. And here we got, show you in a second. All right, and it's almost impossible to solder here for one simple reason. The soldering iron isn't fitting where it needs to fit that's a problem all right 
that's a problem for you it's not a problem for me so let me fire up the microscope a good example is right here you see how the positive pins are not really soldered well on on this side because uh, because even though it's soldered on the bottom the board is so thick the the heat dissipation is so good i mean at least the heat dissipation is good oh you know hold on one second um sorry about that um you missed the whole point i put some extra flux in there here let me probably show you on this guy right there you see it's not soldered all the way through to the pad the 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 solder doesn't touch the pad in any way shape or form i mean it's kind of like a blob on the positive pin but nothing here and here what i'm doing is i'm basically just keeping my soldering iron right there it's all really flexed up and that way i can solder this pad to the pin you see how how good the solder is right there you see all right so let's do the same for the second positive pin because we got 280 watts coming through it 280 watts coming through those little tiny pins and if they're not soldered properly on one side or the other which i don't think they are from the factory <laughs> no okay i am a nobody remember and i don't think you should listen to me <laughs> yeah so who am i to critique a design of people who sell you a four thousand dollar laptop that lasts you a year nobody and i just want to say thank you to those people big thank you big shout out to those uh, engineers all right let's see looks looks good not ideal but looks okay all right now for for these sides we got the negatives Negatives are also important because uh, positives are great, but the negatives are important as well. Here, let's let's other. And having a thousand dollar microscope also helps. Now it's probably two thousand dollars because of inflation. So I can get into and a thousand dollar tiny iron like this one also helps. Basically, the point is if you <laughs> do it at home, you need to buy another. Three thousand dollars worth of equipment, but uh, but I mean no, I'm just kidding. I I can do this repair with just a regular nail. Just heat up the nail with the uh, on a gas stove, and it's gonna do exactly the same thing as a as a thousand dollar um, as a thousand dollar soldering iron. So here. All right, but because this is a ground, it requires a lot more, a lot more heat. As you can see, the solder here and the solder right there did not penetrate the board really well. So I'm going to bring a different iron in and hope that since we have initial contact with the pad, we're going to add a little bit more solder and everything just going to flow nice onto the pad right there, you see? All right, now let's do exactly the same thing here, right there. Right there, excellent. Good job. Excellent. Let me do the same thing here. All right. Good job. And good job. All right. All righty. So let's double check to make sure there is no shortages from the soldering perspective i cleaned up the board on both sides so it should be okay plus is fine plus is fine negative is fine negative is fine negative is fine negative is fine okay the negative part is fine sure let's see if you get interference from the from the other two points okay now we're not getting any interference all right so looks good now to clean this time clean this thing up i use the kim tech wipes all right 
let's see and just like that like that q-tip and uh, that absorbs pretty much all of the isp that was used for removing all the fluxes and all that other stuff here so the board basically better than new because it's a handmade solder for a 280 watt uh, current going through it so here you see everything is nice and dry so we're not gonna have any shortage from the cleaning all right here we get uh, Alrighty, so here, let's see, this is connected, to, yeah, $4,000 right there, that's how we connect the wire, alright, <laughs> I didn't disconnect it, so that's the factory, um, the, I'm not sure if I should plug in the, should plug in the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi right about now, because that has some sort of plug that we have to kind of plug in like that so all right all right so here we have a blue wire coming to blue all right we got this guy here all right so blue coming here gray coming up here You see somebody knows how to read the website instead of calling they are texting so here this is yeah and when you send the text send everything in one text if possible that way your text's not gonna be in the background all right so here white and black and usually if I don't reply in one minute, then the clients usually call. So here, like that. And like that, and like that. All right, so we got uh, white, black, black, white, gray, blue. All right, I'm gonna separate those two guys a little bit like that like that all right let's let's do this guy here in this way to range about this blue wire what is it doing there okay so like that all right all right Or is it coming together with the gray one? Okay, like that. Like that. Seriously, 
All right, let me go check. All right, to respond to the messages, I have to take the gloves off. I have to go to the station. Type on the keyboard everything you want to hear. Again, for nobody, I am extremely, <laughs> extremely, everybody wants to talk to me. All right, so here, like that, like that, like that, and like that, like that, like that. All right. So this paste, it's not going to leak like this paste. It's going to stay exactly where you're going to put it. And if you put it here, it's going to be there. So it's not going to cause any... And that as soon as you respond to somebody, somebody tries to respond back to you right away because they have time right now to chat. All right, so you see how fluidy that original paste is. I mean, it, it, it for, for, for some reason, it flows away from the burning area. So I'm not sure if that made on purpose, probably not, because everybody tries to engineer a a correct laptop so that everything would be fine. I mean, it's not like you're going to pay for 4,000 bucks for a poorly engineered computer, right? No, no way. I mean, you buy a luxury car because it has a whole bunch of foam on the carpet, right? And that foam under hot conditions and under cold condition, it cracks. And once it cracks, it starts to produce the fumes that's going to kill you. Well, maybe cause cancer and then it's going to kill you. But anyways, you still buy luxury cars, right? Because they have foam underneath the carpet for a silent experience. Now, again, <laughs> I'm just, this is for entertainment purpose only. So don't, don't take my words for it. Let's see. Now everybody tries to insulate their houses with the foam. I wonder idiots who buy those kind of houses. Anyway. Smart people, smart people. <laughs> um, let me clean up the heatsink because we got some dust on the heatsink. And I need to clean up the fan too because the fan is like that. So yeah, that needs to be cleaned from this way down that way because the, the, the ISP is supposed to go through the fans. So give me one second here. Every year you have to take your fans off. You see right there. You have to take it off, pour ISP through it like that. And the problem with cleaning those fans is that uh, on the other side, it's uh, the dust going to be collected underneath between the blades and the, and the metal casing. So when I'm going to be trying to wipe it off right now, many times people complain that there is a noise coming from the fan and the reason the noise coming because all of this stuff that being accumulated and I could tell you this is the minimum amount of dust but that's all it takes for four thousand dollars to come to waste I mean I could see damage right there already to the CPU I mean it still works right so it's not that badly damaged but it needs the cooling power and the only way the cooling power is going to work, oh, it's here too, it's on the sides of the blades too, pretty heavily. So not only you need to clean it on that side, you need to clean it here. All right. All right, it's going to be good enough for another year. Okay, so this one, you want to clean up stuff here. Extra stuff here, extra stuff here. Oh, on this side, it's on this side, so we're gonna be. For some reason, <laughs> oh my god. All right, you know how this one works versus how this one works? This one sucks air from here and blows it that way. This one sucks air from the heat sinks and blows it this way. 
So this one in and out, this one outside in. So if you think this one is clean, flip it over and you'll see a whole bunch of dust. Well, it's already, um, but let me show you here. I already penetrated with ISP, but we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff out of it. Whole bunch of stuff. All right. Interesting design. This is the first time I see, well, you pay $4,000 for a good design for a year, right? <laughs> anyway, sorry. Now I just, the comment that I'm a nobody who critiques a design of people who are in business of making money from selling. The, the ideal is to sell you stuff, all right? This is not... Well, I'm not going to go further, you know. Better keep my mouth shut. All right. All right, so here, I bring this thing in here. We bring this guy right there, all right? Is it sitting well enough? Sitting fabulous. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we have the... Okay, I need to find the screws for these guys. Oh, and I need to clean up the heatsink. All right. Cleaned up the heatsink. Let me see the screws. Are those the two screws for the... Alrighty. Let's hope this is the screws for this guy here. Yep. And this one goes right there. Another complaint my YouTube viewers always tell me about is I need to use handheld screwdrivers. Don't use the uh, the automatic ones ever. Guys, if I'm gonna use handheld stuff, the videos would take forever. And I'm not only making videos, I actually have to work too, you know. Well, well, this stuff needs to be underneath there. Now let me get this guy out. That guy out. All right. Like that, like that. All right. No, 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 no. I think you went to. No. No. Hey, good job, good job, good job, excellent. All right, let's uh, put the screws back in. Okay, so those are the ones for here.
Okay, so which one is the one? One is right here. Okay, one. Okay. Two right here. Three right there. Four right there. All right, so once we secure the CPU, we work on GPU. Five right there. Six right there. Seven right here, eight right there. And seven, okay. All right, let's bring one of those guys here. Screw this guy right here. We wanna put the, the memory stick right here. All right, um, we got one shiny screw going in here. Okay, good job. And... All right, let's see. This guy goes right here, probably. I'm not sure, maybe that's for the cover. Let's see if the cover has any screw around that area. Cover has screw right here. All right, now cover doesn't have any screws. Hold on a second. There's one right there and one right there. Okay. Like that. Like that. Okay, good job. Like that. And we got one more right there. Not sure how long that screw is. Let's not use the power. Right, so one right there. Got another one right here. All right. Wait, hold on. Okay, good job. Now we wanna run this wire into the deeper groove here. Connect it right there. All right, good job. Now we're gonna run this guy here. All right, good job. And we wanna do something like that. This was the original tape. All right, that's good. Nothing is rubbing anywhere. So yeah, besides making thousand plus videos, maybe already two thousand. Who knows? I kind of need to check the statistics for the website. Uh, different laptop makes and models. You should understand. I also see a whole bunch of the same repeat uh, stuff here. So I don't try. I try not to record whatever I already done before. Now uh, let's see this stuff here. I mean, it's not like I can record every single laptop that comes in here simply because I have no time. It's been already what an hour, an hour and a half pretty much spent on this system. The recording time is just an hour and ten. So at, the, at this money, this is a good deal, all right? Uh, for a nobody who knows nothing about engineering to work on your laptop doing this kind of repair, I think that's kind of fair. All right, good job, good job, good job. Okay, let's see. One screw right here. Another one right there. 
another one right here and another one right here all right excellent excellent okay before i connect the battery and lock the lock i need to connect the two wires here one is right here another one right there All right, so one is right here. Good job. The second one is right here. Doesn't want to go in well enough. Don't, don't try to push those. They, those get uh, delaminated really fast, really easily. All right. All right, good job. I'll make sure this doesn't interfere with anything. We connect the battery. All right. Battery is connected. Close down. All right. Okay. And it's not closing well on this side, probably because of the wires of some sort. But let's see. Or it does close. Hold on. Well, seems like it's closing down. All right. It was much harder to open it up. All right, now it doesn't want to close. Oh, now you have to put more pressure into it. You have to press inwards a lot more. That stuff comes out. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. So you pay for thousand bucks for what does it do? I mean what what's that thing for? What is it? <laughs> First time in my life I'm gonna ask my clients to tell me what did you pay for thousand dollars for? What does this thing do? I mean leave a comment, alright? what is it what's this thing is what's what's this thing is why is it made like that Five. let's go right anyways um i guess once it stops working after a year you can just do this to it <laughs> play with it <laughs> republic of gamers Anyways, I do invest in Blizzard Entertainment. Blizzard, Blizzard. Um, now I think it's going to be, a, I think it's all, it was already acquired by Microsoft. So yeah, the more gamers there are, you know, the more, the more I support you guys. You know. Did you know that uh, British Tobacco pays 10% dividend so that people would um you know i'm not promoting anything i'm just saying <laughs> all right ten percent dividend can you imagine like you don't have to work ever just keep telling everybody <laughs> anyways all right so yeah, I would ob obviously invest my money into ASUS uh, stock options if they have any. Because if they can sell somebody a $4,000 laptop that's gonna... Oh, and I will require its attention in a year. I mean, 
and people would buy another Asus laptop for another four thousand dollars, I assume, and then another. Why make something that's gonna work? Again, guys, I support this company one hundred percent. I'm behind this product one hundred percent because I'm just like a doctor, you know. Um, let me prescribe you this medication and that medication, and then I will see you in about half a year. We will see how how backfires this medication at you. I don't want to put this. All of the screws seems kind of long for me. Let's see. Is that as long as this one? Yeah. Hmm. It just I don't want to penetrate into anything in there. So let me do it like like finger tight. Not even finger tight, but just like. All right. No, that's fine. Yeah. You just, I don't want to mess up anything and have more work for later. All right, so good job. Manufacturing date, 2022-03. Uh, it's a year and a half. <laughs> What's this for? <laughs> Anyways, all right. We got, oh, we got an i9 G Force. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. Anyway, so uh, let me power, power, power it up and see if it's going to work. So if you want to take this laptop to space. Uh, yeah, so this plug looks OK, but I could see some some orangey hue here and there, so it might have some oxidation to it, some. But... Mm. Anyways, let me plug it in, make sure it does work. Plug it in. Alright. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... Once it once it even pushes right there is the light that shows that it does uh, charge. All right, so we got something here. Wow! All right, so here, September twenty fifth, and we're charging right there. You see the light right there. Some people can accuse me that I am not showing you the light here. Is the light. You see? Right there. Means it's charging, my friends. It's charging. All right. So once you get it back home, you plug it in and it still doesn't charge. Uh, buy a new power supply because your tip might be oxidated. And once the tip is oxidated, it's not going to let any current through. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, guys. And thank you for investing $4,000, spending $4,000 on a Rock Strix uh, Asus laptop. Thank you. Bye. And, and where is the, where is the cursor? Oh, it's on the screen. All right.